there is a huge misconception that 0.5 delta equals to any money option. Let me tell you why it's a flawed logic, stay with me. In an ideal world, returns are normally distributed and there is no skewness in the return. Because of this, a strike which has 50% probability of expiring in the money trades around the current market price and because of this, we get 0.5 delta equals to at the money. But in real world, as we know, the returns are not normally distributed. They are skewed. And this skewness of volatility also uh, affects the delta. Implied volatilities are generally spread across strikes and uh, sometimes the uh, OT OTM puts have higher implied volatility than OTM calls and this shifts the delta up and down can be 0.55 or it can be 0.46 based on the return distribution as well. So return distribution also affects the delta. Uh, markets generally price in a lot of events, a lot of uh, jumps, a lot of black zone events because of this the returns get skewed and this skew gets translated to implied volatilities which again affects the delta. So if someone tell you that at the money option have a 0.5 delta you need to remember that was skew and the return distribution makes the true ATM shift up and down.